Good evening, beautiful people. How are you guys doing this beautiful Monday? Our hashtag today is Money Monday. Like my husband once said, I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different. Tafakari Hayo, as you tell us where you are watching us from on our SMS line, triple one, triple four, triple one, for one shilling only. And of course, Ka went him to uh, the social medias, to Kopale, the Facebook, uh, Switch TV Kenya, to call the Instagram, Switch TV KE, and of course, uh, Twitter, Switch TV Kenya. Karibuni sana, I am Joyce Miner. Ala? Hello, Ala? beautiful queens and kings, how are you doing this beautiful evening? It's a beautiful Okay, what when is today? Monday. Monday. Um, oh my god, I'm tired. I am okay. tired. Super tired. But my day started very early. But how was your Monday? Do you have Monday blues? I know I am wearing such. I mean, but that's not wha what I'm serving. I'm definitely serving a lot of wisdom, a lot of happiness, a lot of good vibes. Do you have good vibes? The hashtag today is Money Monday. Oh, na spending it pesa yako aje. Na by the way, sa iyo tu ako. Mwezi kwa kwa kona as they say it. Uh, unafanya nini about pesa? And what is that one quote that you can share with us, of course, about money? But one thing I can tell you, it's not the, your salary that makes you rich. It is your spending habits. So how are your spending habits? We'd like to know. Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. On Facebook, to Kopale, uh, Switch TV Kenya. On Instagram, at Switch TV KE. Are you ready for something? Because I know I am. Karibuni sana. My name is Nana Witi. Yes, welcome everybody. How's you all doing and how's you feeling in the spirit of money? You know, money runs the world and money comes with a lot of things it comes with some good stuff and some bad stuff so don't let money control you and remember you cannot serve money and serve god at the same time so you get up do a pick but still you know also god comes with the good things so siya tutakuwa ho he ha he maski maskini okay i'm welcome to after mungu but come okay you know i'm wrapping some good vibes hashtag forgive them we are all about positivity and of course you know from me to you now penda sana nothing but godly vibes from this side of um, 254 cover K. Do you remember we are on uh, Switch, um, sorry, at Switch TV on Star Times at channel 473. When you're mekwa kitulizia uko na wenyona shinango wa kihata, iyo place inye tunasema frequency. We are there as well as you can stream us on switchtv.ke cover K and send in the feedback. I'd like to hear how your weekend was and how you're feeling and, uh, you know, good evening to you. Karibuni sana, it's your girl K to the T and I follow J to the C. Ha! Is a wrap. Alrighty. Hello, Monday. Yes. energy. Where are we? I am. I am the tiebreaker. I am the tiebreaker over here, and I am feeling. I'm okay. Imagine. I had such a restful weekend. You did. Yes. Yeah. Like for once, nobody saw me anywhere. You didn't go anywhere. So if you saw someone who looked like me, it wasn't me for real this time. Miss Quilt, me no one me chill too. Yeah, because you said if you're in Dubai, you're in Dubai. If anything, find you at uh, Karuma. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> mind your own business. We, we are minding our business. We saw you, but mm. we're not saying. You know, na pale kikuyu kwa club flani that we're about to mention. Oh, sit down. Mind your damn business. Oh, okay. <laughs> and as we mind our business, how mind? Uh, how about we mind other people's business? Are you ready for some tea? Because it's time for pop spot. <laughs> Yes, and Extian Della is in the headlines again. And this time it's because, okay, so a story was reported by BNN, right, saying that um, Extian's club, which is called Santorini in Kikuyu, collapses and is being auctioned. So I don't know if it physically collapsed. Amani, you know, poor management in Malizayo club. So he went on and responded, you know, taking a screenshot of that story that was being talked about him. And then he said, um, can I just be left in peace, Aki? I just need peace. I'm just here building my company and keeping it easy with my pregnant wife. What I will not allow is for a cloud-chasing blogger to drag my name down and brand me titles and businesses I don't own. If you have personal issues, kindly sort yourself out and don't just attack people for clout so that you can sell ads. I will protect and defend my name to the full extent of the law if need be. Everything about Santorini is on my highlights. Tell the blogger to check my stories if he wants tea, he put in quotes. We already served it months ago. Let's continue spreading love and peace. Blessed evening, everyone. Yes, and we do have a video. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yes. So um, he's he's actually put like a couple of like screenshots on his th his Santorini highlights in the. Uh, one of them is replying to someone at his see utaboy about his Santorini uh, basi to kona udaku and then he's replied uga, udaku kama gani. It's just basically whatever Edgar was talking about, he screenshotted and put on his. Oh no, 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 actually, what people were asking, correct me. Is there, don't come for me, please. Yeah, he's already addressed it on his Santorini highlights. So, kaunataka the answers go over there because it's like from what, eight weeks ago? Yeah, eight weeks ago. So that video is from a long time ago? I don't even know. Man. I'm, I'm thinking I'm confused. Th there's no shame in sometimes failing, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes just use your rock bottom as a solid ground foundation that you build, mm. you know, your entire life and existence on. Sometimes it's okay to just go rock bottom. And the minute we start denying, denying, as much as it, it, see Lazma, it's not our business. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if it's a business that you've put on social media, no meambia watu waende uko, you also need to know a little bit. I mean, if they are your fans, you know. So at the end of the day, Mina feel uh, it's okay to, to go down just as long as we have a plan to go back up. So, Miss Yoni kwa nini ana feel, vile ana feel about yeah. it? Yeah, so apparently from one of his stories, ni kama something happened between him and the other guy who are owning Santorini, so he left. Yeah. So see yake anymore. Again, partnerships, it's, yeah. you know. Yeah, but sometimes they just don't work out, man. So yeah. I guess it's not his anymore or whatever. Because people had started to talk about it a while ago. Yeah. So I listen, that's, that's what he meant by he already served the tea. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Mm. So the whole point is the club was closed and he's no longer part of it. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So it yes. doesn't concern him. No, it does not. <laughs> okay. I mean, way to go, man. I just have a, have a very different feeling when it comes to clubs. But I'm like, kuna ma girl child water saidika na ma boy child water saidika. I hope situation you need to badilika. Aye. Okay. That's a story for another day. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to put here. Oh, I do have the next tea. Ni mimi bado now this one. Hey, hey. This one is bizarre. This one is crazy. This one I didn't believe it myself even though I was watching the video with my own two eyes, okay? So, we all know, I don't know if you all know, but we are aware of the Ndisho twins, right? Uh, Paul is married to what's her name? Momani. Momani. And Eddie is married to Janet, or was I? I cannot well, did Nini say that they are together or they are not, but yes. So these uh, guys were at uh, Ole Sereni, particularly Emara. We all know the new wing of uh, Ole Sereni, you know, the fancy, fancy place that has a rooftop uh, bar. So they were there the other, this past weekend, and Boniface is the one who put up this video, and I'm still like, I'm still baffled, okay. So he went to Twitter to say, Yesterday my sister and I were attacked by the initial twins for respectfully turning them down. They threatened to shoot us and ruin our lives. My sister was strangled by Paul Ndisho, while her boyfriend, who had come to her rescue, was being strangled by Eddie. Now, we all know these people would not have been in our, on our radar if it wasn't for the women that they married. That's why I mentioned them. So maybe you might have a recollection of who I am talking about. But if you don't, watch this video. No, 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 Okay, so who you're seeing in the video right now, I don't know where Eddie is in all of this, but uh, there, there are other stories that have surfaced of the girls who are actually there, the, who you're seeing in the white, that is Paul um, Disho. And yeah, that doesn't look normal. You don't do that as a sober person. Like trying to vandalize someone's car and then you like walk up to someone else and strangle him, that's not normal. I mean, that's not a sober yeah. person's mind. What? Yeah, he didn't start looking at the video. It's like um, there's.
probably influence of something yeah, exactly. of a thought because you can't be sober and uh, you know the person that you are and mm. how the media is and mm -hmm. you just get yourself into some things mm. but aside from that I always say this by the time you're taking yourself to a particular place mm. definitely kuna expectations there's what you think can happen what you um, plan on doing there is what you probably assume uh, might just happen so kwa hizo happening zote you need to be sure where are you going what are your intentions what is what are you guys going to do over there and i always say this by the time you're getting yourself into a particular thing you already know by how you communicate with these people so sometimes you might avoid putting yourself in some risky weird uh, funny situations that ungekwa tu home umetumia ume relax mtu wangu kuna vitu zinge happen but at the end of the day as much as people glorify the hype and the drugs and all of that sometimes the drugs can cause a lot of mayhem yeah. But let me just add this. Let me just add this, this, add this yeah. before you say. Yeah. I feel really bad that the wives are being brought into this because honestly, exactly. none of us would have known the Disho twins if it wasn't for the women that they married. Yeah. So I feel bad that their wives are being dragged into this stuff, I, and I, it's not them who did it. Absolutely. I, I, I hate the I hate the fact that blogs and, and everyone else is just running with it and mm. saying Janet Bogwazex are gonna. Mm. I don't know why you have to put her in such a situation. A, a situation. At the end of the day, this man is the father of our kids. That's yeah, not gonna be grown adult, man. I mean. That is already detrimental. It's gonna be detrimental to the kids' health at some point. You know, mm -hmm. in their mental space, the internet does not forget. So, Bro. as much as Napoleon is it, please don't get any about them as individuals. Yeah, if it's Paul, if it's Eddie, it, just leave the family out of it. Again, mm -hmm. I, uh, what it's despicable to watch. Mm -hmm. I'm looking like I remember them uh, that like their pictures Bro. on Instagram, and I'm like, that's how morons look like. Bro. You know, like why would you do looks? that? You know? And the thing <laughs> is, like, the <laughs> all of this because someone said no, like they refused your advances. Because if you know Emara, you know that is the ground floor, and where that car was, that lady was leaving. Yeah. So you want to tell me he followed her all the way from eleventh floor to ground floor because she said no? That is ridiculous. Again, boy but child, that is an expert. Yeah. Again, boy no child. one side yeah. of the story. Ah. So until hey, the guys say as what as exactly me. happened, I'm like, they, it, it's not me going to justify care. whatever they did. No, I'm saying it doesn't yeah. matter. But yeah. at the as end long of the as day, you're throwing hands I'm not going. A woman, ah, no, the on. whole point is I'm not going yeah. to say that she decided to leave and didn't want any part of this yeah. until we hear the other side of the story. Because at the end of the day, it's so easy for us to judge when we are but on this side. But you don't strangle someone. That's what I'm saying. I'm not, you don't fight a woman. You don't even fight exactly. a man. Fighting yeah, is yeah, wrong. Yeah. Biblically, okay. it's wrong to fight. It's bad to get into altercations that can't solve anything then what happens it's easier when you talk about things but at the end of the day i feel like there needs to be an understanding between the two parties what actually happened and they talk about it and they come clean about it and they just find a way of moving forward for janet it's rather sad like you get first i think i heard that she's um she got a divorce from the story which i was seeing today on twitter and they're no longer together so all of you you're dragging her in you something know, she's not her problem. To step away it's not from. her problem man. so sometimes when you're calling people you know call people out for what they are doing Ask but stop people, dragging yeah. other things of their lives which are not even which should not even be nini in concern that's in that yeah, particular matter true. it doesn't make sense so i feel like for her it was so wrong Unamko na pato na trend, okay, angalio na trendi yani. Ata ikusu. Ata ujuini nini. You are not even part of whatever was happening. As long as a man is throwing hands, me, I don't even want to listen to this. Imagine, like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is your problem? Watching that video, watching that video, this is a man trying to strangle a woman. And her boyfriend. And her boyfriend, like, both of them. I'm like, wait a minute. That guy, the woman was there with the boyfriend. No, the boyfriend came to pick her up on her way out. He followed her, strangled, one of them was strangling her, the other one was strangling the boyfriend. Can you imagine? As in, as in, you see, Bro, oh. this man like, is not even staggering when what has he taken you're not, not so bad right? you're not doing that he's so just bad. walking but i think all, all in that. all what i'm going to stand by um everyone messes up all of us we do wrong things we do things which are not proud of and sometimes it's under we are under influence sometimes it's just things just happen but at the end of the day i'm just gonna stick here forgive them sit down talk about it and see if you guys can come to a mutual understanding and forgive each other but forgive you yeah, but even, even though i forgive you your law must me. take its course for sure law they, they should be taken yeah. to court law must take its course also as parents i think we, we should also teach our kids our sons to accept a no like there's no way utaanza kukuwa una behave just because someone said no and maybe the labda wamekunywa kidogo una feel una wa own we don't own people you cannot own people all you have to do is experience them and if experiencing them in such uh, co like 
you know, conditions makes you feel a certain way, then you definitely need what when I need therapy you could inject like I was I'm so mad. Because I when you look mad. let me tell you when you look at that man that is like a beast going after his prey. Because a sober person does not approach another man like that yeah. and strangle him. I love Nacho Kidogo Kidogo mna inge internet mnaanza kusema sijui oh mna mnasikia vibaya like the case of Mike Sonko we will talk about that later mm. like ini mna mnajiuliza ngani kwa nini watu wengine ni warembo na hawana na kosingo why because they are ugly here here i mean Honestly. seriously anyway very bizarre it's like